Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm doing a review of the Drop app. Now the Drop app is a cashback app that you can use for a lot of your online purchases as well as some in-store options. And you can use this to get cash back. With the Drop app, there are two main ways where you can receive cash back. The first option, which they call their power options, is actually Actually my favorite option. With the power options you can choose two of about 10 different choices that I had available to select to always receive cash back with. So the two options that I chose were Chipotle and Starbucks. These are places that I like to go eat or grab a drink. Now I don't go there as much anymore because I don't eat out a lot but when I'm on the road Starbucks is a place I like to stop. Whenever I'm going on a long road trip and I need something to help keep me awake I'll stop by a Starbucks or if I need to grab something to eat during the drive then I'll stop by at Chipotle. And because you always receive cash back at these stores no matter what, you don't have to worry about opening the app to activate any offers or make any claims or anything like that. No matter which Chipotle or no matter which Starbucks I go to, I will always receive cash back. Now this makes it a great option to stack your rewards between this application and some of the stock back and other cash back apps as well as your credit card. Now the second way to earn cash back with the Drop app is to actually open the app and search through all of the different stores and retailers that they have available. If you go to a retailer through the Drop app, then you receive the cash back points based on what's available in the app at that time. And there are a lot of different options. You can even order groceries at Walmart through the Drop app. And of course, there are big retailers like Walmart, Nike, Apple, you can even set up new wireless service with Verizon or AT&T. There are many different types of options for you to go through the Drop app and then shop online by first activating the offer within the Drop app and then that will take you to the website that you wanna shop at. And if you'd rather use your computer instead of using the app on your mobile phone, you can email links to yourself and those links will allow you to receive credit once you do your shopping on your desktop or your laptop computer. Based on their point system, every thousand points is worth $1. And in order to redeem your points, you need at least $25 or 25,000 points to make a redemption. Those points can then be redeemed for gift cards at places like Amazon, Walmart, Target, iTunes, Best Buy, Dunkin' and donuts or Starbucks. Now there are lots of different options out there. Those aren't the only ones, but you can redeem anywhere between $25 up to $100, which is 25,000 points or 100,000 points in order to receive your gift cards. Now you don't receive a physical gift card. It is a digital gift card, which allows you to make purchases online or depending on the company. I know with Starbucks, when you have a digital gift card, you can actually add it within the Starbucks app and that will give you credit on your Starbucks loyalty card. That way you can make purchases is either through the Starbucks app or at their store by using the loyalty card. And as the redemption amounts go up past that $25 minimum threshold, you do have more options once you get into higher amounts like $50 or $100 redemptions. Now, as far as the point offers, I've seen points offered anywhere from as low as 10 points per dollar up to 80 points per dollar for certain stores or certain items that you purchase. And then there are other offers if you're signing up for maybe a credit card or for a loan or for a different service that you may receive thousands of points just for doing that. And it's not based on the amount of money you necessarily have to spend. So there are spending thresholds where you have to spend a certain dollar amount in order to receive the bonuses. So make sure you check those individually. They will change based on the store that you select. But the highest actual point offer that I could find within the app was actually for a loan service. It was a $150,000 point bonus if you took out a loan from this company called Payoff. So that 150,000 points is worth $150 cash back to you, which can then be redeemed for gift cards. Now to add to the offers that you get for individual purchases at specific stores, they also have boosted offers. So for a limited time, they may offer more points per dollar than they normally would. An example is that around Black Friday as well as Christmas time, Microsoft had a boosted offer that boosted their points up to 60 to one. So normally it's 15 to one, so 15 points for every dollar that you spend, but they had a boost option to where you would actually get 60 points for every dollar that you spend. And that was specifically for purchasing the Microsoft Surface, which is a kind of a laptop tablet hybrid. And Surfaces 
the lowest costing one is over $500. So the difference between a uh, non-boosted versus a boosted cashback is the difference between getting $7.50 cashback versus getting $30 cashback based on the boosted offer. So one thing to take notice is that if you have any additional offers or any coupon codes, they are not able to be combined with the points or the cash back that you're going to receive by going through the Drop app and then going to the retailer's website. So make sure that you're getting the best value by either choosing the offers that are available in the Drop app or maybe the coupon code that you already have that doesn't require you to go through the Drop app and you can just go direct to the retailer's website. And as far as making your purchases, you can use either a credit card or a debit card. Unfortunately, you cannot use the debit card of the services provided by PayPal, Venmo, Chime, or the Cash App Cash Card. So if you do use those cards with this application, you won't receive credit, so there's no need to even add them into the app. And you can add multiple credit cards and multiple debit cards as long as it's not the cards that I just mentioned. Now, one additional bonus feature, which currently is not available to everyone, is Drop for Chrome. Drop for Chrome is an extension that you can download via the Chrome browser, and this allows you to activate the offers through the extension instead of going through the Drop app on your phone. Currently, this extension is only available by invite only. It may be that it's currently in beta mode, or maybe they only offer it to high volume users of the Drop app. Now, if you're interested in using the Drop app, make sure you use my referral code and link. It will be provided in the description as well as in the comment section. When you do use my link, you receive 5,000 points in Instantly once you connect an eligible credit or debit card and that's worth five dollars so it's basically a free five dollars once you sign up using my referral link so if you've used the drop app let us know about your experience in the comments or if you haven't used the drop app let us know in the comments a reason why or why you would not use this application versus some of the other cashback apps that I've mentioned in my top seven video all right thanks for watching I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day if you're not a part of the mobile money nation make sure you hit the subscribe button down below hit the like button button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.